Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've uh, posted anything. Um, this is the carbon fiber bike project. As you all probably know if you're going through the, the site and, and watching the videos. Um, anyway, this bike, it rides pretty nice. Uh, there's a couple problems that, uh, that I've had though. Um, one was the uh, front derailleur. Um, I, when I first did this, I just tried to use a piece of uh, aluminum angle. And then I cut a uh, just a line in here, and then mounted the uh, derailleur in there. But uh, the problem with it is, is that the derailleur turns um, under the tension of the lines. And so, anyway, I shaved that off, and I'm going to put a new uh, carbon fiber um, piece on there. I couldn't find one that would work uh, that that's already been made. Uh, so anyway, what I did was I took a piece of uh, 3 8 inch dowel and 3 8 inch uh, oak lattice and I'm going to create a long strip here so I can make multiple front derailers. Um, but anyway, once this has uh, got carbon fiber laid up on it, uh, I'll cut it out probably in 2 inch strips. Um, the reason why I'm going to do a bunch is because I want to make a couple other bikes. But, but anyway, I'm going to... Uh, cut these uh, strips out and uh, shape them and then what I'll do is I'll screw them onto this uh, piece of aluminum plate that I've got here already and I'm hoping that that'll fix the problem of the uh, derailleur rotating on me so the next problem that we had um, was the seat clamp the seat clamp likes to uh, slide up and down as I'm riding um, you know, to drive you crazy and also the other problem that we had was this top part here I, I put some ridges in for the uh, the seat um, the seat bracket that holds the, the actual seat on but it's the uh, carbon fiber is not strong enough and so it just kind of pops and the seat kind of moves down so what I'm gonna do is put I went to the, uh, sorry about the camera work. I went to the, uh, the bike store and they had this uh, carbon fiber uh, seat post. It's a use alien, I think is what they call it. Um, but anyway, I cut it off and uh, what I'm gonna do is, you can see I've already got this, this hole here. And I'm going to carbon fiber this in. And what that'll do is that'll keep it from rotating back and forth because this clamp works pretty pretty nicely. And then the problem here on the back, I tried some silicone, didn't work. And I tried a piece of a rubber gasket in there to try to get it so that it would have a little more friction and not slide down. But that didn't work either. So what I did was I bought some aluminum. And I'm going to put this on the inside there. You can imagine it goes uh, right up against the, uh, the seat post here. And um, I'm going to carbon fiber that on there. I'll probably do two or three seat sheets on each side to hold it on. And then I'll drill holes in the, uh, the aluminum. And that'll keep this uh, from moving around. So uh, that's pretty much where we're at. I've also got to do the uh, front here to match the profile of the front fork. The uh, front fork I bought um, has a little um, protrusion right here, and so you can kind of see that I the front of this doesn't really look finished. It's because it's not. I'm going to put a, another little piece of foam on here, and then uh, I'll lay some carbon fiber over that. I'm not sure where I put the template for that. Oh, here it is. Here's the template that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to do some. Um, some Formica templates and it's hard to see here but anyway uh, the foam you can imagine will be lengthwise all the way up and it'll match my fork so that's where that's where we're at uh, I just got done uh, with this and um, gotta get the seat post going so that's probably what I'll work on today I'll update you when it's done all right let me show you what I got going on here I've got the uh, the aluminum piece attached 
and then I put three layers of carbon fiber on each side of it. Um, I didn't pill ply it, I probably should have. Um, but anyway, I'll just sand that down flat, it should be plenty strong. And then I put uh, a foam core on the front here. And I also wrap this with two layers of uh, carbon fiber. Uh, this piece is non-structural, it's just cosmetic. So that the profile matches the, uh, the fork. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And then um, I'll drill out the, uh, the foam a little bit. And then I'll put another uh, layer of my, my strands, my carbon fiber strands that are chopped up. And uh, epoxy in there to make it so that I can put a cover on there. Then I'll melt the foam out. Um, here's the front derailleur mount. Uh, you can see uh, I've got some fiberglass here which was part of my breather. And this piece I actually vacuum bagged. And so what I'll do is I'll cut along here along the edges and then pop it out. Um, moving on to the next item we had which was the uh, the seat clamp here. I've got the uh, the seat mount attached. You can I don't know if you can see this real good, um, but I basically took the uh, the carbon fiber um, seat post, cut it, and so there's it's probably about this this tall in there. And then I took this uh, this carbon fiber um, chop strand and mix it with some epoxy and put it on the underside in here and put it right here. I'll, I'll sand this down so it's nice and smooth and it should be pretty sturdy. Anyway, I'll update you when I got those things finished. All right, so I should have just showed you this before I actually uh, did it, but uh, I wasn't thinking. Um, anyway, let me just explain to you what I've done here. This is my uh, um, my front fork, and I've cut this steer tube off. Um, what I did was I just put the uh, carbon fiber spacers where they needed to go on the on the on the steer tube here, and uh, drew a pencil line around it to know where to cut. Took this off. Just took this pipe cutter, which is made for cutting copper pipe, but it worked pretty good on this aluminum. Um, this wasn't my idea. Saw it on YouTube, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, anyway, I cut about uh, half a millimeter below the line so that when I put the uh, star nut on and the cap, that it'll pull everything down tight. So here it is. Made a nice, clean cut. You can see there. Anyway, that's it. Put it back together now. Okay, yeah, you can see here I've got the uh, star nut in there. Uh, believe me, it was a pain to put in without a uh, star nut setter. Um, if I did it again, I'd probably go up to the bike shop, have them do it, or buy uh, a tool for it. Uh, anyway, um, I got my spacers on. I've got a 15 and a 5, so there's 20 millimeters there. And then I've got five of these little spacers. Um, since I am an amateur, in case I ever want to to uh, raise my height a little bit there or lower it, I can make the proper adjustments by using these little spacers. But anyway, I've got five uh, 2.5 millimeter spacers there. Now I'm just going to set this on top. Um, you will notice that this is just slightly, the steer tube is just slightly lower than this. So it should work good. That's all there is to it. I'll pull this down tight. Straighten this out with the wheel. You can see it's not straight yet. Uh, make sure there's not a lot of play in it. And uh, we'll be done with that part. Okay, so I just got done doing the uh, steer tube. And uh, here's what the bike looks like so far. We're pretty much done, except for I've got to cut one little piece off of here on the, uh, on the seat post. Just gonna shave that off there. I'll get a little bit more of a close up so you can see what I'm talking about. Since I've got the correct height now, I'm just gonna take a take that and shave that part off so it all blends well. But uh, pretty close to this project being done. Um, I don't know if I ever told you, 
that the uh, front profile here went to match it and um, I don't know what happened um, cut it a little too big or it moved on me or something the foam core and uh, when I did the layup and was sanding it down I was doing a lot of sanding to try to correct it and I started wearing through the uh, carbon fiber so anyway I ended up just uh, cutting the profile off and um, you know, it's not a big deal since this bike is more of a prototype than, than anything. And um, I also you painted it black. You can see right here. Um, I just wanted to get this done real fast, so I used Bondo on it to, to fill in all the pinholes and stuff. So I didn't have to do epoxy and then sand it, epoxy and sand it. So that's why I just painted it black, just to get this one done. Anyway, it, it looks uh, fairly good. You don't really notice it unless you're out in the sun anyway. But uh, there you have it. Almost there. I'll give you an update when I get that little piece shopped off there. Hey everybody. Well, it's finally finished. Um, so I thought I'd just give you an overview of what it looks like. You can see here that I cut that little bracket off. So it makes kind of a nice smooth transition there. And. Uh, Overall, everything turned out good. Let's see how I've done this. I got some little leather straps here that I made. They don't work real great, but it's a temporary fix until I get some decent bike shoes. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Got some Starlight wheels because I can't afford the really nice carbon fiber ones yet. But uh, those wheels work okay. Got the steer tube cut and everything set there. See my arrow bars. Still need to put some tape on the lines here. Ran out of electrical tape. I'll probably just use that on it. See, everything's working good. Uh, I've put about 200 miles on the frame now. And so far, I'm really liking it. So, there you have it. homemade GT carbon fiber bike. The uh, frame weighs uh, 1,435 grams and with everything on it it weighs about 20-21 pounds.